so hello everyone uh, today uh, i'll be uh, explaining the program for candy crush how you can write a candy uh, crush program uh, using python language so uh, this is uh, basically uh, a class and a user defined function we are going to run this loop a uh, while it is true so there has to be some kind of a uh, break statement over here okay just remember that and we will be returning uh, the basically the grid where we are playing the game now uh, during this uh, the first step that we need to do is it is called as compare or uh, you are basically comparing uh, the neighboring uh, points or neighboring uh, marbles and if uh, th those are then we are going to crush those marbles if these are very similar like for example uh, three marbles if those are like similar we need to uh, crush them and uh, our question uh, is basically on if three or more candid candies of the same type those are uh, basically are adjacent vertically or horizontally we need to crush uh, uh, these these okay so that is the problem and the third one is basically uh, we need to drop the marbles uh, from top to bottom due to gravity uh, when we get a uh, similar marble so this is uh, basically the program so for that first of all we are going to uh, set a particular set which will only take unique values okay so remember this uh, now we are going across across the row uh, breadth breadth of uh, wise first not breadth wise we are going to go depth wise first then breadth wise so to grow go across a different rows we will be uh, writing for i in range of length of m so this is uh, we are go uh, going row wise then we are going column wise so for that m of 0 uh, will be mentioned now we need to check if i is greater than 1 okay and uh, if m i j is existing it is not 0 that is uh, so it has a specific value now we are representing the marbles with a specific value and when m i j is equals to is equals to m of i minus 1 of j is equals to is equals to m of i minus 2 j okay so uh, when this is going to happen we are going to basically add to this particular set so that one uh, we are going to mention it as crush is equals to crush is equals to so this is basically like i equal i equal to i plus 1 implies i plus equal to 1 so in that particular same way we are going to add into this the tuples i comma j comma i minus 1 comma j and then we are adding i minus 2 comma J. so these are the two pills that we are adding and if j is greater than one and so we are talking about uh, different uh, uh, columns and if that m i j is particularly existing and then m i uh, j is equals to is equals to m i of j minus one is equals to is equals to m of i j minus 2 so in such case we are going to add to the crush again so we will be representing it with this and or, or the tuples such as i comma j and i comma j minus 1 comma i comma j minus 2 are added to this particular uh, tuples so this is how we are just we have just compared now okay 
now for example during this iteration uh, we have found that uh, in order to crush we have not found any of the element then we are going to break that okay now in another case uh, if this is not the case then for i comma j in crush what we are going to do is we are going to put m i j is equals to zero we are assigning that particular uh, value now in order to iterate uh, across uh, different uh, different verticals uh, we need to first go along the rows so for that we will be mentioning for uh, j in range of length of m of zero okay and then we are going to mention for i in range of length of m so before that we are going to you know like mention uh, that id x is equals to length of m for that particular m uh, and th that is equals to minus 1 okay now uh, when we are trying to do uh, when we are moving across the vertical we want the vertical to be reversed we want to go from the bottom so for that we are uh, just mentioning reversed over here and uh, we need to see if m i j is not zero okay if m i j is not zero then m i d x of j is equals to m of i and m of j okay and idx will be reduced by one and then for i in range of idx plus one that is in the increasing order then those uh, particular uh, marbles will be equated to zero Okay. Now this is how we are uh, trying to uh, write the program for the Candy Crush. So for the Candy Crush, you need to remember three important things. First thing is uh, the loop will be continuous, but we will be using a break statement whenever the comparison is fail. Whenever the crush becomes zero, it is a particular set which only stores the unique uh, tuple values. Uh, then we are returning this particular m value uh, the grid itself after we are you know like uh, dropping uh, the unmatched marbles uh, towards the ground and also after you know like comparing and crushing the vertical uh, same marbles and the horizontal uh, same marbles now uh, in order to uh, there are three steps compare step then there is crushed stage and there is also drop stage in order to compare we are uh, going across uh, the different rows that is uh, row 0 1 2 3 4 then we are going row uh, across the column 0 1 2 3 4 and then we are checking when i is greater than 0 whenever the element is not uh, 0 uh, whenever uh, in uh, three or more elements are uh, common then we are going to add to the crush okay now th this is uh, you know it it each time uh, three values are being compared uh, but uh, once we increase the value of i and increase the value of j it also checks for other three values which are same so basically we are going to add uh, these tuples uh, multiple times again to the uh, crush set but what happens because it is such set it only takes the uh, unique values uh, and it takes all the values once only so unique values will be stored finally the crush if it is uh, none then we break if it exists you know, then for all of those values we are just introducing zero now then in order to drop what we are going to do is we are going across different columns so for j uh, from zero to uh, n uh, zero to n we are going across but for i we are going in the reversed uh, range order and we are checking if mij is existing 
then m i d x of j is equals to m i j okay and then index will be reduced and for i in range of i d x plus one we are just inputting m i j is equals to zero so this is uh, basically the function for candy crush